grace in the eyes of the Lord. I thought grace is not in the Old Testament. I found grace in the Old Testament. But there is a found grace and there is a given grace. You can find grace as favor. You can be given grace. But Noah, God talked about all the men. But when he got to Noah, he said, but Noah. So Noah was not a man, he was a spirit. So he didn't call, he didn't call Noah the man Noah. He said, but Noah found grace because he was operating in the realm of the spirit and he was a spiritual man so because he was a spiritual man he was no longer a man he was a spirit being so because he was a spirit being grace located him Noah was in the old testament but was living in the new testament he was already seeing the blood that was shed before the foundations of the earth was laid so by grace he was sustained in the ark and the ark was a wooden ark and it represented Jesus so when God told him enter into the heart God was telling him Noah you have not seen the yet 2,000 years to come but by grace revelation and dimension of the spirit you were living in the days of Igila it's only spiritual men that can find grace he built the ark and stood by the entrance of the ark and spoke the language of the spirits which every animal we hear ne safilia he could say Kaka parakata. the man that god gave dominion is calling us the eagle carry the she eagle and the e eagle they came into the ark mosquito could hear noah voice the snail could hear male and female they came seven seven they came why because he was a man of this you can't control anything on earth until you understand the spiritual language the spiritual language is a liquid franca that controls every activity on earth the rock can hear the stone can hear the tree can hear the fig tree can hear animals can hear lion can hear money can and yeah, whatever, whatever, when you operate in this dimension of this language, you control anything. The light that will light up your spiritual life is your capacity of faith in what I'm saying now. Watch this. Close your eyes. What are you saying? What are you saying? Darkness. Do you know why you are saying darkness? You have not power your light. You are not getting me again. You're not getting me. Close your eyes again. What are you seeing? Darkness. Now imagine something now. When you begin to imagine, a picture comes. The spiritual world is usually dark. But the light that you carry lights up the spiritual world. Your light is what makes you see the vision you have to see. That is why when you fall asleep, the first few minutes everywhere is dark but when you travel you remember that you have seen some things even though you don't remember the dream you remember that you were not just in a world that was dark you were seeing the reason why you cannot remember is because you don't carry much light that can come from the spirit wall to light up your physical wall so when you wake up there is a cut off of a transition of current the flesh block you so that there can be no flow and that's why when the light is so much when you wake up it floods your brain and you are still trying to think the light is rushing the dream is rushing the dream that is why when you wake up from your dream you don't just do any physical thing you go back on reverse gear small and carry the current that is still at the door and come back you find out that the dream that you have flood you you don't close your eyes and not see the light in the other spirit world it is the light you carry that shows you more things about yourself